Hello, I'm Cheryl Derricott and I'm a visual artist. I'm sorry we can't all be together in person to look at the migration show, but I'm so delighted that Lonnie and the team at Vessel Gallery is giving the artists the opportunity to talk with you about our work via video. My piece in the show is called The Return. It focuses on the return of Black people to the South. When Lonnie asked me to create a work for the migration show, I began to dig into the data of this reverse migration. I'm sure you're all familiar with the original migration of Black people out of the South after Reconstruction. I was really interested to find that between 1965 and 2000, there was almost a full reversal of that trend. All three regions of the country had more Black people returning to the South than actually leaving the South and moving to other locations. The work I created for the migration show focuses on our own home state of California and shows how Black people left California and went predominantly to the South and in a few instances up the coast towards Seattle. My work really centers around this combination of historical data and contemporary dialogues. The migration work that I created uses what I call a form of visual binary code. Each little green suitcase represents a one. A green suitcase with a slash through it represents a zero. So for example, when you look at each of the states, you can see how many people actually left by counting the number of green suitcases. Um, so for example, if there are four green suitcases, that would mean 4,000. On the second line, if there were two green suitcases, that would be 200 and then three. So you might have four, two, three, and then one, 4,231 just a made up number of how to read the actual graphic. The black suitcases are really just a decorative tool to show the outflows of black people from the state of California. I really wanted you to get a sense of the movement across the country. And so the black suitcases don't represent hard and fast numbers as much as a way to show that trajectory of people leaving. I think the last thing that I'll share with you about my work is really how I compose work. Um, I think a lot about text in my work and that's why the titles are often very descriptive. Um, I am always interested in contemporary affairs and so this topic of people returning to the South was a very contemporary topic that I was happy to bring to the show. And then last but not least, I recognize that the work I'm drawn to make as an artist is very analog in an increasingly digital world. So my work on paper um, is very physical and craft oriented. I actually hand stamp each of the suitcases onto the map. Um, it's not done through computers. It's actually, you know, I print out a big map and then stamp each one with an ink pad and a stamper. Um, the other work I tend to make, um, handmade books, artist books, and also um, glass art is equally analog in a digital world. So while there might be a small component of Photoshop or digital printing in the case of the large map to the work I create, that's 20% of the work. 
and 80% of the work has a direct connection to the hand. I really appreciate this opportunity to be able to talk to you about the piece. I'm sure that if you have additional questions or thoughts that you'd like to share that I didn't cover, Lonnie um, will be able to figure out a way to get those to me and maybe I can email you back. Thank you so much for your interest in my work and also the migration show at Vessel Gallery. You can learn more about me at CherylDerricottStudio.com and of course, visit Vessel Gallery online. I hope that you all remain very safe, very healthy during this challenging public health crisis that we all face. For Art and Liberation, signing off. This is Cheryl. Bye-bye.